Let's try a bigger hammer. That bigger hammer is not working either. Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. My job today is to split this piece of wood into two separate pieces. It's a lot of work, but through science we've discovered there are machines to make that work easier. In other videos we highlighted some of those simple machines that make our work easier. Today we're going to talk about a very specific type of simple machine, the wedge. This wedge is a simple machine and its job is to make it easier to push things apart or to separate things. So I want to try and use a wedge to split this piece of wood in, into two pieces. Here's another type of wedge. Which side of this wedge do you think I'm going to use to split this in half? This side or this side? Let's take a look and see which one works better. That side didn't seem to work too well. I wonder what will happen when I use this side of my wedge. Take a look. I would say it did a really good job at making my work of splitting this piece of wood in half a whole lot easier. So our wedge had no problem in separating this piece of wood. Check this out. <laughs> Can my wedge actually split and separate this piece of wood? It almost seems impossible, but science can do amazing things. Let's see this wedge at work. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the wedge at work. But what we want to do now is take a closer look at really how is this wedge working. To do that, we're going to go to the table with some other neat demonstrations. Now to take a closer look at how a wedge actually works, we need to do some measuring. To do that, we have one block that is a wedge and another block that is not a wedge. And I want to see how much force it takes to move both of these blocks through some dry rice. All I have here is actually three big bags of dry rice and we're going to try and move these blocks through that dry rice to see how much force it takes. How do we know how much force it takes? We're going to use our good old trusty spring scale. So we have our block in our bin of rice and I want you to watch what happens to the rice when I push my block through the rice. As I push it through the rice you can see the rice doesn't do a good job of separating. It all kind of bunches up in the front. Now let's see what kind of force that takes as we push the block through the rice. I'll bring in my spring scale, put it onto my block, and I'll begin to pull. And as I pull, you can see, so you can see I'm pulling about 600 grams with this flat block. So we've seen what our flat block can do. Let's see what our wedge does as it travels through the rice. So let's start to pull this wedge through the rice. Take a close look at the spring scale as I pull. I start to pull and it's pulling about 300 grams. I'm going to stop right there so you can see. We'll zoom in. It's just that 300 grams. You can see it moves as soon as I tug. So this flat block took about 600 grams of force to move it through the rice. But this wedge took about half that. Only 300 grams of force to move this wedge through the rice. I would say but looking at our data, the wedge really does make our job easier of separating things and moving things apart. Wedges are at work all around us. Take a look at this. These two pieces of metal are actually almost about the same size, but there's one difference. Look at the end. The end of this nail is a wedge. This has a flat front. There's no wedge to it. Let's see what happens when I try to hammer both of these into this block of wood. I'm thinking that this wedge might make my work a whole lot easier. What do you think? Let's take a look and see what happens. First, the flat one. You 
can see it did make a little indentation in the wood, but now let's compare it to the nail. Um. <sighs> you can see my wedge did a whole lot better job in separating that wood so that nail could be pushed down a whole lot further than the flat part. Wedges are at work everywhere around us. Wedges are even at work in our kitchens. Believe it or not, each of these items is an example of a wedge, and these wedges make our life a whole lot easier. They make work a whole lot easier. Whether it's a knife that's used to separate pieces of food, the fork is actually a wedge. Take a closer look at the tip. It separates the food so I can get in and grab it. The spatula is used to separate things off of a pan. A cheese grater or a grater is used to separate pieces off of the carrot. A peeler, that's actually a wedge and it separates a nice thin slice of something from something else. Science is so cool. Wedges at work, they're everywhere. Wedges don't only just make work easier, sometimes Wedges make work a whole lot of fun. Science is so cool. Sometimes it's tasty, and many times it makes our work easier. If you want to learn more about simple machines, check out our links in the video description. Thanks for watching.